You know, even in our modern civilized society, things can be pretty dangerous. Violent crime, threats of terrorism, road rage, and a ton of other physical dangers seem to be everywhere. So have you ever thought about how prepared you are to handle a physical altercation? You know, just like it's a good idea to wear a seatbelt when you get in a car, it also makes sense to know how to properly respond to violence. The fact of the matter is that it's very likely that many of you now watching this will become the targets of violence sometime in the future. And the purpose of this video is to help you prepare for it. Now, I know a lot of people who don't like to think about violence. I know people who go to bed at night with their doors unlocked. I know people go for walks in shady neighborhoods without even giving a, a passing thought to the idea of being physically assaulted. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it can be dangerous out there. The risks vary depending on who you are and where you live, but here are the numbers and the numbers don't lie. According to FBI statistics, in 2010, the average American has a 1 in 250 chance of being raped, assaulted, robbed, or murdered each year. In fact, assuming the crime rate stays constant, the stats show that one in nine people in the U.S. will be robbed, assaulted, raped, or murdered at some point in the next 30 years. By the way, it's really worse than that because most crimes go unreported. So look, stop and think about it. Do you know what to do if some punk goes after your wife or, or climbs in your kid's bedroom window at night? Are you physically trained and prepared to protect yourself or your loved ones against this violent threat? Now the truth is that most people are not. Most people have really no idea what to do if they're attacked. And you need to understand that to not prepare yourself against a violent attack is itself a kind of preparation. It's like the old saying, to fail to plan is to plan to fail. So not doing anything at all is a bad strategy. Now some people think that, well, you know, the, the police can protect me, but ask yourself, are there any cops around you right now? You know, the police are not your personal bodyguards. The odds are that if you're ever attacked out there, there won't be any police around to help you. As the old saying goes, when seconds count, the police are only minutes away. So how will you protect yourself and your loved ones? Well, you know, the sad fact is that most people haven't done anything to prepare for this problem. These people are victims waiting for a disaster to happen. And if you're like this, really it's not your fault, you know. Our society kind of promotes a, a soft lifestyle. It's just, that's just the, the culture we live in. Having a bunch of technical gadgets around helping us do everything isn't really conducive to physically preparing us for winning a street fight. Yet you would feel horrible if one of your loved ones were physically violated because of your lack of preparation. If you can relate to this problem, we have the solution. This is why I created the How to Win a Street Fight course. This program is a crash course in the most effective street fighting moves that anyone can learn in the shortest amount of time possible. And just so you know a little bit about me, this is my field of expertise. I spent the last 35 years studying every form of martial art and self-defense that I could get my hands on. I've taught thousands of students defensive tactics. I fought professionally myself at the international level. I've trained uh, cops, SWAT team members, military personnel, kickboxers, boxers, professional fighters, MMA fighters, grapplers, and really just about everything else. I've been a professional Muay Thai coach for over 20 years, and I hold a second degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But what I wanted to do is kind of say, okay, let's step back for a second and look at all the different techniques from all these different martial arts, but let's just pull out the most effective ones, the simplest ones, and put those together in a self-defense program for the average person who doesn't have a whole lot of time to learn. So I did this and what I came up with is a new crash course in modern day fighting techniques. That's how I created the How to Win a Street Fight program. So this course is designed to help you do things like learn simple and reliable techniques that have been proven to work time and time again in real life confrontations. We're going to teach you how to develop your physical abilities like your speed, your strength, your timing, and your explosiveness, even if you don't have that much athletic ability to start with. I'm going to show you how to replace flab with more muscle and become more well-built and muscular. This is good not only for its own sake, but also because having a more physically fit appearance sends a clear message to potential attackers that you're kind of this hard target not to be messed with. This kind of training will also give you a big boost of confidence. You know, confidence is, is a great side benefit to this kind of training because it carries over into every aspect of your life, giving you the respect of others and a new sense of calm. Now what makes this course different is that it's designed for the average Joe. You don't have to be an experienced athlete or martial artist to do this stuff. Rather, this course is designed to teach the average person how to win a fight in the shortest amount of time possible. Now just make sure you're clear on this because it's important. 
The probability of you successfully winning a street fight is directly dependent upon your level of physical fitness and knowledge. This course is designed to help you get both of those things. We're going to build up your level of physical fitness and going to give you that technical knowledge in the shortest amount of time possible. I also want you to know that this stuff has been proven to work. We're not teaching any kind of fluff here. Everything I teach in my course is just backed up by proof. In fact, I'm going to show you a video in this course of all these moves I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you a video of these things working in real life encounters so that you can see for yourself that this stuff really works. So the How to Win a Street Fight program contains hours of instructional video and here's what all you get. In video number one, I'm going to teach you how to knock someone out. You know, punching is just kind of a, it's a natural human reaction to a threat but it needs to be properly developed. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you where to hit, how to hit, and how to dramatically improve your overall bone crunching knockout power by increasing the mass and velocity behind your punch through proper body mechanics, timing, accuracy, and a host of other critical factors. In video number two, I'm gonna teach you how to win a fight with kicks. Your legs are the strongest muscles in your body, but you can forget about everything you've heard about kicking in self-defense. Most kicks taught in martial arts schools, either they take too long to perfect or they never would really work in a fight in the first place. Here we keep it very simple. This video is going to show you how to use only the most devastating, easy to use, man-stopping kicks that have been shown time and time again to work in a real street fight. In video number three, I'm going to teach you how to fight dirty in a clinch. Most fights are close quarter conflicts. A lot of times, you know, you're just you're walking out to your car in a parking lot and you just get bum rushed. You know, before you know it, the guys are up on you and you're just locked up. So, like it or not, most fights end up in some kind of clinch and you need to know what to do here. So this section of the course is going to teach you how to execute simple fight stopping moves from the clinch. And finally, in video number four, I'm going to teach you how to choke someone out. Choke holds are the ultimate fight stoppers. It's the ultimate fight ending move. Well, you know how to put a guy to sleep. You know how to put a guy in a chokehold and make him pass out, you know? <laughs> you literally have the power in your hands to neutralize any attacker. It doesn't matter how big they are, or even if they're doped up on PCP, you can take them out with a good chokehold. And best of all, this is a relatively safe way of dealing with an attacker when you know how to do it properly. Now, some people want to know, okay, but will all this stuff guarantee my success in a real fight? And the answer is, absolutely not. There is no guarantee here. There are no guarantees on the street. There's no magic pill or, or quick fix solution. And if anyone tells you otherwise, they either don't know what they're talking about or they're just, they're just lying. So, but the best we can do here with proper training is increase the probability of success. We're gonna raise the chances of your success through proper training. That's how we gain a competitive advantage. But what I can guarantee you though, is that these are the best techniques that I know of for winning a street fight in the shortest amount of time possible. Look, the bottom line is this, nobody likes to fight, but good people need to know how. If being physically assaulted concerns you, then you need to take some kind of action. The reason why is because this stuff takes time to learn. We've tried to shorten the process as much as possible, but still it takes time. It doesn't happen overnight. So if you really want to be ready, when I'm sure you probably do or else you wouldn't be watching this video right now, then you need to get started right away. I have to give you a warning here. We want to make this course very realistic and this course contains a lot of graphic footage. You got to look that reality you know, right square in the eye. You need to know what you're up against. And for this reason, we've included some very graphic videos in this course of real life street fights so that you can see firsthand what violence looks like. And, it, and by the way, it's not pretty and it's not like it is in the movies. But you gotta, you got you need, you need to know this. You gotta see this in order to know where the moves we will show you fit into the reality. You need to know that if you are ever violently assaulted in a parking lot, you're gonna be instantly overcome by feelings of shock and pain, humiliation, helplessness, panic, terror, and confusion. All this stuff is gonna come bearing down upon you at once. And only proper training is gonna help you overcome this horrifying experience. This program is a proven method to getting you ready to winning a real street fight as fast as possible. We're gonna learn simple and effective ways of neutralizing attackers as well as lose fat and gain a more muscular, confident appearance in the process. So please, don't put this off. Violent attacks do happen every day, and so you need to get started right away. Your ability to physically defend yourself and your loved ones is vital, so don't overlook how important this is.